Hey everybody, I want to do another one of my informative video series, I guess you would call it. Or, uh, you know, some, somewhat my opinion, but somewhat correct stuff. That I get lots of hate mail on every time I post something like this. Uh, but, you know, I, I have curiosities. I try to research them, and I mean really research them deep sometimes. And I try to post what I find that I think is... I can safely say is I'm correct or on the right track with. Of course, nobody's perfect. But, man, bring the hate mail on. I'm still going to post these videos and just keep trying to at least give some information out that people might, that will spur people to, to do their own research. I'm not out to say people are wrong or this guy or that or point fingers or anything like that by any means. Whatever person does to enjoy their hobby, that's what they should do. And gardening is a large part of its hobby, you know. Uh, it, it, well, for yard gardening like me, it's it's definitely not to save money, <laughs> so, but to enjoy good good fresh fruits and vegetables and and to um, just enjoy doing it, being outside, doing something constructive. But anyway, the subject today uh, is going to be about insecticidal. Soaps and detergents. Now, not not about recipes per se. There's a million recipes and means and ways and and thoughts on all that kind of stuff. But you know, as a natural uh, sprays and things for soft-bodied bugs, in generally speaking, uh, that's what most of your insecticidal soaps are are uh, meant for. Um, but there are some definitely some clarifications that can be made. I know that I, I'm going to make that people probably are not aware of. Um, and maybe a little history lesson and a little bit of definition of some things. So here we go. Soaps have been around for a long time as, as an insect spray. Going back 200 plus years, people have used soaps for uh, against uh, soft-bodied insects. And the primary way that they kill insects is through um, disrupting their cellular uh, membrane. Um, now that's, that's, that's different than just drying out the bug. There, there's a difference there. And some soaks uh, kill them that way. They, by just stripping the exterior of the bug's protective layer, and they dry out and just die from dehydration. Okay. Um, but there's, there's a lot of people misunderstand how that stuff works and, and what works better, what's not really meant to be used, and things like that. And, and a lot of people think soap is soap. And, and that dish soap and dish detergent, and though all of it is just interchangeable, and, and uh, then you got antibacterial soaps, which is really a big thing anymore, and, and hand soaps, and I mean, there's a there are differences between that stuff, and there can be detrimental to your plants, to be honest. So that's kind of what this video is about. Learn about the soaps and make your own choice of really what you probably need to be using and what you should kind of avoid. Regardless of your ingredients, your peppers and uh, garlics and, and all these oils and things you can put in it, um, it's important to know about that soap. You know, make a good decision on or to tr help to try to make the best decision on what you really probably need to use uh, that's most going to be the most effective and less detrimental to your plant because it's very easy to go overboard and uh, really harm your plant. And so let me try to def define some stuff now. Insecticidal soaps that you can buy that are manufactured specifically for insect eradication. Potassium salt of fatty acids, okay? This is not the same as soap, detergent, and all that type of stuff. These products are specifically designed towards insects, um, and they have a benefit over homemade things, okay? Uh, they're, they're derived to, to uh, specifically towards affecting insects to minimize plant injury and they're very consistent. In other words, they're, every bottle you buy is the same strength, the same stuff, okay? Um, now, 
detergents and soaps are also effective at killing insects. But here's the important thing. They also have a high potential of injuring your plant. And that's the important thing to know. It's, it's not saying that you can't use those things, but it, you, you probably want to know out of those things that's available in your household, what is going to be the least harmful to your plant and why. So in other words, insecticidal soaps are designed to, to kill insects and minimize damage to plants. Okay, And they are specific concentrates, uh, or you can get them already ready to spray. And, you know, it's important that you kind of follow those guidelines when you're spraying that stuff. Um, dish soap, dish detergent, hand soaps, cleaners, dishwasher soaps, all that kind of stuff are not designed to spray on plants. And, you know, even though they can kill a bug in a different way, um, it's not um, the same. And I'm not going to sit here and say it's wrong or right or do, you know, stop at the world from using these products and all that kind of stuff. I'm just saying, at least have the knowledge, a little bit of knowledge, um, that there's more to it than just grabbing some soap and spraying it, okay? And, or mixing it, and you just have to be careful. And you never would want to mix more than one to three percent of soap, whatever soap, uh, to, to a gallon. Of these of these products, that's all it takes. Believe me, that that's more than enough. You don't want to go overboard. Um, it, it's going to be harmful to your. You're going to cause as much harm to your plant as you are going to the bugs, uh, because they strip the oils completely out of the plant, off of the plant. The plant has to have its. The plants, all your plants have a specific film, a biofilm. Uh, they have oils, uh, detergents. Remember now, there's a difference between dish soap and dish detergent. That's another thing, you know. Uh, detergent is not a great idea to use in, in, by any means. At least stick with soap, which, is, which in itself is probably not the best thing to, to use uh, of any dish type stuff, especially. And then um, the difference is that detergents typically, typically, dish detergent uh, doesn't have... Uh, it's not the hand, uh, it doesn't have the oils that replenish. Detergents will actually not only strip the leaves clean, they will actually draw out essential oils from the leaves, okay? Essentially drying out your, your I mean, turning your plant into a piece of beef jerky. If you were to go in the shower and use dish detergent for, for, to shower with, you know, over a very short course of time, you would turn into a piece of beef jerky because it would strip every ounce of oil off your skin and out of your skin. And it does the same to a plant. It's not something you, uh, you know, there's a difference between that and a nice bath oil soap type solution. It's replenishing. It's giving oil back to your skin, you know. And uh, that necessarily doesn't work so hot on a plant, you know, putting oil back, some kind of fragrance and oil back into the plant. It's just, so there, there is a difference. But, you know, not all is lost, but just people should understand that there's a difference. You can go to Palm Olive's website. They sell dish detergent. They sell dish soap. And many other products. And all different manner of products in between. With different additives and whatnot. There's a difference, you know. Uh, but if you go on the internet, and the main reason I'm doing this is because if you go on the internet and look around, you know, as I've done, look for recipes and... I was very confused about dish soap. People were saying put dish detergent, a tablespoon, two drops, one drop, uh, use palm olive, no, use dove, use this, you, you know, um, this works better, this one. You know what? It's a lot of spouting of people that really, obviously, haven't even researched what they're talking about. It's just maybe what they heard or, or what somebody told them or what their grandma used to do and, or mom or... We always use this, and, you know, it's just, that's all fine and dandy, and if it makes you happy, and, and, and you want to spray it, spray it, spray it. I, I'm not asking for hate mail, you know. I'm just saying, there's a difference, you know. So, 
let's try to delve into maybe what's the best options with this kind of, you know, what's, what's going to be the least harmful to your plant. You know, yeah, you're killing bugs, but you're also hurting your plant. Uh, in a lot of cases, what will happen is you might kill the bugs. And then you have this soapy film on your plant, which is not good. It can't breathe, okay? Then it rains, or you water, or whatever. You wash that off, and then it strips everything off your plant. It has no protective layer against disease. So, you know, oh, I killed all my aphids, but, you know, a month later, oh, now I'm battling leaf spot and this and that. Oh, I tell you, it's been a terrible year. Well, you know what? There's a possibility that's your fault because you just went online and you looked up something and you did what somebody said and, and they might even suggest using dish soap and use dish detergent. And so, um, even those little things, plants are sensitive things and more sensitive than we are, that's for sure. And using the wrong product in the wrong ratios and things like that can have a detrimental effect and you would never realize that you may have caused it or really helped it, you know, that bad thing to happen. So commercially available insectic organic insecticidal soaps versus homemade soap sprays and stuff. Insecticidal soaps are you can almost say are selective. <clears throat> they, they, they kill bugs. Um, primarily kill bugs without harming plants. But even some plants and some fruits are um, affected badly, if you're unlucky, by even the insecticidal soaps. Some of the fruits, like cherries, and some tomatoes are really affected by any insecticidal soap. In, in a negative way. And not to say that it would kill it, necessarily, but there are certain plants that are, don't even like the insecticidal soap because of the, um, there's a word, philosophy or something of the soap itself. It affects the plant. Um, so, <laughs> you know, consider that organic versus home homemade soap sprays and stuff. I mean, it's just, whoa, you've really, you take a plant that's susceptible to even an insecticidal soap and they go spray with a homemade soap spray and uh, odds are you're gonna you will affect that plant and not in a good way soap covers soap is a lot of things you know detergent is a lot of things you know engine detergent would you spray your plant with you know a degreaser all it is is detergent um, you know so you got to keep that in mind and be really careful and understand differences. Environmental conditions and things like that have an effect as well. Um, <clears throat> if you have hard water and stuff like that and you're spraying the soaps, um, you can end up with a situation where you have what everybody's heard of is called soap scum. Soap scum is insoluble, uh, relatively. It will actually cannot kind of form a crust that is not easily washed off, and then that's a bad thing. So just another reason to be careful of what you're spraying. Um, I guess the solution to something like that would be just try to stick with good clean water when you spray that stuff. Um, maybe not tap water or whatever. If you have a, a high mineral content in your water or, or calcium content and things like that, it can form a scum, what's called a soap scum, uh, that becomes almost an insoluble layer um, and hard to get off. And that's just going to, that's not good for your plant at all. Uh, might, it's probably not good for the bugs either, but, you know, you don't want to kill, you know, harm your plant in the process. Uh, sp how, how often I sprayed. Uh, it's best not to spray any more than you have to, even with the insecticidal soaps, because there is a residual issue with some plants over time. It can start becoming a residual breakdown, um, especially with you know, home homemade recipe soaps and stuff. Um, and, the, uh, of course, it's important to uh, not just to go out there and spray your plant necessarily, but get a, if you're going to use soaps and things like that, it's probably just as important to spray under the leaves because that's where all your bugs are really going to be most of the time. They're under the leaves, and sometimes that's really hard to do. So a lot of people will go out and they'll spray soaps and stuff, and just have the plant dripping wet, 
but the undersides of all the leaves have really don't have much and and on them you know and those insects in order to kill those insects with whatever you spray it has got to cover that insect it will not they don't die by walking on it or anything like that or just touching it or coming in contact with it they are killed by being enveloped in that solution okay that's what actually kills them it either suffocates them chokes them dries them out dehydrates them or as with the insecticidal soaps it actually affects their molecular cellular molecular uh, structure on the exterior <clears throat> rather than just suffocating or drying them out um, but then and then there's oils and things they work in the same way they suffocate they uh, but that's a whole different discussion and um, soap sprays the big category of soap sprays homemade store-bought whatever are effective against killing insects um, just keep in mind that there are hazards as well with these products some have considerable hazards if not used right um, they all can be hazardous if misused or spray too much or too often um, and it's up just to the consumer or the viewer out here or whatever to determine for themselves maybe do a little research kind of you know try to find stuff that's probably tame <laughs> if you're using homemade things uh, I would stay away from all dish soaps and detergents I mean that stuff is designed to strip grease cut and it's tough it's, it's some harsh stuff compared to an insecticidal soap insecticidal soap is a totally different product and uh, I guess it's a lot of people get confused with soap well soap I'll put some soap in it um, you know it has it's all soaps break surface tension helps it stick and things like that you know so obviously that that's probably a common thing among all soaps but um, there's differences in everything else probably beyond that so just inform yourself I ain't telling people what to use I don't have any recipes no solutions and please don't send me a bunch of hate mail telling me I'm all wrong I don't know what I'm talking about F off this and that I get a lot of that um, I just keep plugging away um, but anyway thanks for watching talk to y'all later bye